we are leaving Nahara. It's almost nine in the morning, which is a little different. I've been leaving before dawn, but well, yesterday was a really hard day. Just about killed me. I was really sick most of the night from just exhaustion and I think dehydration. There was a party in the street until 1 a.m. that kept me awake. Yesterday was a hard one. They're not all gonna be easy. Let's see, which way is the Camino? I'm not even sure where the Camino is. Hold on. That's looking back at a little town square. Had I been in better health, I would have explored and found it. This is the way out. You can see the yellow arrow right there. Just a couple minutes outside of Nahara. And we're already in Camino High Country. Do you have a channel? Yeah. I'll tell you about it in a minute. That's cool. Oh, is somebody coming? Mm. Ah. We walk through the vineyards. I think that's a Zofra. We're doing things a little bit differently today. I've moved my water bottle to the side of my pack. It was hanging around my neck by a strap, cutting into the neck and bouncing down here. <laughs> Buen Camino. Buen Camino, there is a Zofra. We go in here and we're gonna go out that way. Excuse me. Following a dog into a Zofra. Go down there and turn right. Feeling a lot better today. Stopped there to get something to eat and when I walked in, De Jalaque Valle was playing on the radio. Con otros zapatos. Pardon. First time I heard that was on the Camino three years ago. I thought, this is a kick-ass song, so I downloaded it. I need to learn it all. All I know is De Jalaque Valle. Con otros zapatos. Pardon. Con otros zapatos. I'm gonna learn the rest before I'm done with this Camino. Unos que no apreten cuando cuera da sus pasos. Vineyards everywhere, far as the eye can see. Pretty cool, actually. <sighs> Taking my time because I don't want to kill myself. One last look at Azorca. That arrow reminds me of the rock where Dom is buried in Fandango. And there's Mr. Sun. I can't tell how far I've come. Has it been three kilometers? It feels like three kilometers, but sometimes half a kilometer feels like three kilometers here in the Camino. It's like a weird space-time continuum. I don't have a hat to cover my head except a little black beanie, but I remembered an option if I can find a shady place to stop and take some water. So I brought a medicine bag. Medicine bag has uh, items that you find sacred, that are sacred, holy energy. A lot of people have like special twigs or sticks or rocks or whatever. I have very different sort of things in my medicine bag and I think now is the time to show you. There's the medicine bag, just like that. In this handkerchief is the spoon that I found on the Camino three years ago that kind of saved my life. I'm gonna put it over there for the moment. This little bag has a pin my wife gave me when we were dating. We'd had an argument. I thought things were over with us. And then she came to my work and gave me this pin because she said I was her angel. Wrapped in here, this is gonna seem strange to some of you. A good friend of mine, CJ Cole, a Native American, we were talking about a film we liked, Dr. Sleep. And uh, I relate to Dr. Sleep because of alcoholism. And there's a thing in Dr. Sleep, uh, a motif where Danny deals with his demons, with the things that torment him from uh, the Overlook by locking them away in imaginary boxes in his head. And the worst one is in room 237. 
And when CJ and I were talking about it, she decided to send me this. It's a souvenir from the Overlook Hotel, which is not real. It's room 237. But the worst demon for Danny was in room 237, and he finds a way to lock it away. And she liked the symbolism of this being the key to where we lock our demons away, and she thought it was appropriate for me. This is a button my stepdaughter gave me in 2018. I accidentally shut my camera off at this point and I didn't finish the story, so let me finish it now. The message on the button is obvious. My stepdaughter Janica bought it for me. She saw it in a store and said it reminded her of me and bought it for me just before I walked the short Camino back in 2018. And so it's very special and I wanted to carry it on this Camino. And this is the handkerchief that the uh, spoon was wrapped in. You know, when COVID hit and I found out I wasn't gonna do my Camino last year, I just walked around the neighborhood a lot and walked, did it, kept making my walks longer and longer. I found this handkerchief lying on the ground. It was dirty and filthy and I'm, I usually anthropomorphize inanimate objects anyway and I felt sorry for it. So I took it home and washed it, used it to wrap my spoon, my spoon that I found on the Camino. And now I realize I have this and this will cover my head from the heat. You know, Shirley MacLaine in her book, The Camino, says that the Camino is feminine. It's filled with feminine energy. And I believe that. Well, those items were given to me by my wife, a good friend who is a female, and my stepdaughter. Feminine energy. It's, that's what my medicine bag contains, is feminine energy. And it's very important, I think, to have that for me on the Camino. Years ago, when I first began to dream of the Camino, I put a desktop pattern on my phone, on my, on my computer. It looks back here like very much like I'm coming up on that same spot that that photo was taken. So this is kind of a, a magical moment. Going that way, middle of nowhere. <laughs> it was lonely going for a while there on day seven, but eventually I caught up with my old friend Brent and we walked all the way into Sirenia, which is where both of us were staying. That's Sirenia up ahead. I this... believe it is. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, it feels like it too. This is where we're stopping for the night. Climb. Ah, there it is. <laughs> you can have a little terrace. We can sit out here, have a view. This is nice. Coming back in here. There's where Brand's staying. I'm sitting over here. I haven't set out my sleeping bag yet, but I will. So it's late at night, we're at the albergue. I've been a little lax on my videos because I've just been so tired. But the albergue in Sirenia, tomorrow we're on word to, I can't even think where I'm supposed to go tomorrow. Thank you.